Yeah, so it looks like Vish is taking that win in their first challenger game against San Jose Royalty, welcoming them to the Pro Division. Tampa loses two on the break, or three on the break. Three on the break. Ooh, that's a terrible start. I'm gonna for go ahead and say Tauntauns are probably gonna win this point. Well, let's see Carl Samuelson making his move over on the Dredo side, and now on the Snake side, Axel got in, able to get in there. I'm sorry, Axel backing up his front player over here on the Snake side of the field. You know, Damage is a really kind of conservative, smart team. You very rarely see him lose a guy or two on the break. Certainly you don't usually see him shoot, lose three on the break, so the Tauntauns must really have their gaps down well. Yeah, when we practiced them yesterday, they were shooting really well on the yeah. break. Tauntauns or Damage? Tauntauns. 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 Yeah. You know, they're, they're having a good year over in Europe, and I mean, well, they're having a good year over yep. here too, so. Yeah. That, that uh, momentum carries, you know, you get that confidence going, and all of a sudden, you know, you're making every shot, and. Things are going easy for you. It looks like damage, the, the snake play for damage, his guns might be down. Yeah. yeah. Rumsey's not doing too much over here. Yeah, and Sh Shambolin's in a real good spot over here for the taunts on. It's going to find like a maniac yeah, over there. Yeah, that's a battle right there, man. Yeah, now right behind him is Axel, so looking good over here on the snake side at the taunts. Oh, taunt he might draw that penalty if he doesn't get out of there. there taunts on five up, I think. You know, it's interesting that, not to take anything away from Rumsey, he's a very solid player, but, you know, Brian Smith's so good in the snake and also, I mean, they have some weapons on this side. Um, you know, maybe Rumsey was just having an amazing practice yep. and uh, and deserved the start, but when you're coming in against a team like the Tauntauns, uh, man, you know, the Tauntauns, are the, they're the upstart team that came into the, you know, the professional division and really proved that they belong in the champions division that beat some good teams. They have some really good players on the squad, very solid lineup. And, uh, you know, if I was damaged, I'd, I'd really want to put my best five out there and run them for three or four points yeah, and it, see how they did, try to run up the score a little bit, especially seeing how these games are going here. It, it might be that they value, because didn't Smith go to the temple on this side? Yeah, I mean, he got shot. So Agent Smith, might, they might have thought he was a more value, that's a more valuable bunker for him to play, or that's a bunker yeah, but, that Ramsey can't but, play but as well. But what you guys were saying was that it's easier to make the snake off the break than yeah. it is the temple, regardless yes. the loss for this first point is going to go Tampa Bay damage. So Tauntaun's still looking great, man, and they go 1-0. We'll and be right and back. And 5 would them. Yeah, five out of. We'll be right back. So it's all Tauntaun so far here in this first point as they, like you were saying, Rich, didn't lose a body and just completely decimated Tampa Bay off the break. Which so is a huge statement against a team like Tampa Bay Damage. It's, you know, yeah, yeah, they shot two or three early in the game, but then they didn't make any mistakes after that. Well, you know, their lineup is, their starting lineup is good, man. Franck's good, uh, Chambon, Colombo's good. Uh, Louis. Velo, yeah, Loic. Uh, and, and Carl Carl Samuelson is the number two player in the league right now. Long time Joy Division player. And wow. we didn't even mention Axel yeah. got in, you know? So, it, I mean, they got a really good lineup. Wow, Tauntaun's getting that Dorito early. But you know, four on four. Yeah, it looks like they lose uh, Chambon, though. I played with the Tauntauns for a couple years over in Europe, uh, like two years. And one thing that they're really good at is a technical game, yeah. a really slow technical game. Yeah. And it's just European paintball. They execute mm -hmm. very well. Right. And so I think maybe the format and the way the fields are, it's definitely suiting them really well. But, you know, it's interesting because, like, watching Carl play, watching Axel play, um, you know, they're not – I would not describe Axel as technical. And neither Carl. Well, you watch you know, their skill sets. They're wrecking I'm, balls. I'm talking like their skill sets, but they win okay. their gun battles. Yeah, right? no, they you're right. They don't. The they, going. Exactly. As it looks like now, now the Tauntauns are starting to get chewed up. But yeah. I do agree. They don't choose stupid gunfights. Right. They definitely choose and pick and choose their gunfights very, very nicely. But looking like Tampa Bay damage putting it on Tauntauns right now. Ooh. Timmy Prov stepping up. He gets two kills. So here comes Tampa Bay damage. Going to tie it up here at one.
Yeah, so. Jason Edwards had a good game. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, it, Tampa Bay damage. I mean, come on. Come Jason on. Jacob, Jacob and Jason Edwards. Uh, Timmy Pro has been playing this game at a high level for a decade. And Keith Brown's one of the more talented young players, fat, one of the fastest guys in the league. They got a solid lineup. Obviously can match up against the Tauntauns. And, you know, so the Tauntauns come out at 5-0, five yeah. kills to nothing. Tampa Bay, now Tampa Bay comes out. They only lose Chad Boussier. Axel, the only person to get a shot in on him. And uh, so, you know, it's that, you know, that's probably what we're going to see. Seesaw battle back and forth. What? Um, I think Tampa Bay damaged clearly the the favor, right? The right. favorite. Of, you got to give it to them. Yeah. You know, they took second right. at the last yeah. event. They won it. They were the champions in 2011. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they won an event. Roster. They won an event in 2012. We could just go on and on and yeah, on. Yeah. So you got to give them obviously the advantage. But you know, it, it, again, it's it's all about what have you done for me lately in the yeah. pro division. So Always. yeah, so we're gonna and find in life. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a metaphor for life. <laughs> all right. For life. So we're gonna be right back after this. Come. We'll see you in a second. ANS Gear rocks the largest inventory of any paintball retailer. From our massive selection of guns to our endless supply of goggles, ANSGear.com can supply your every paintball need. We have a large selection of paint in stock and the best loaders on the market. Our huge inventory of jerseys and pants ensures that we have sizes for all different types of players. Don't forget we also carry the highest quality paintball tanks. With your choice of free shipping on orders over $100 to next day, Saturday, or international shipping options, you get the products you need sooner. Shop now at ansgear.com. All right, so here we go. It's all tied up, man. We've, we've seen some really close games so far in this event. Yeah, I, I think they're going to stay that way. And I, I keep harping on it. I know Rich and I have talked about it. It's just the field. The field, you're going to play so fast, right? It's going to dictate the pace of the game, the tempo, which... I think, I honestly think, I kind of disagree with what you said earlier, Matt. I think as it goes on and on, it's going to start playing slower. Well, we'll find out. We certainly will. Oh, so damage loses one. They doubled up that temple over there on the drill side, the tower, and it's tough to double that up because if you get any pressure from the snake side, the inside guy really has nowhere to hide. Axel's just standing up. Oh, the yeah, and then he just uh, caught yeah, one. It looked like he stood up a little too long. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of those things where if it works, you look super cool. If you get shot, not so cool. <laughs> yeah. Not hey, so bro, cool there. you were standing up in the snake and you got shot in the head. <laughs> yeah, but I, I had a pack all the way across the field. Yeah, but you got shot in the head standing up in the snake. Yeah. And so he had four your on head. Four. <laughs> yeah, and he had your whole head. So four on four, both teams in similar positions. And you can see Rums is sitting in the snake, sitting up high, and he can just cut down that Dorito side. Yeah. And nobody, that's the problem. When he get there, nobody can put him in. No. And he's got that blind gap. So if he gets there, he can just put paint through that gap. And well, it's so hard to move down that field. And it looks like the Tauntaun's actually down to three players left alive. Four on three is the count. Oh. Tampa, Tampa Bay damage with four players left alive. Still have Brown, Smith, and the two Edwards brothers. So now it's just going to come down to gunfights, right? Yeah. If Tauntauns can win the gunfights and get a G, they'll get right back in here. But if they lose that center guy in that little temple in the center, they're going to be in a bad way. Yeah, there's really no move that the Tauntauns have right now. It's just, oh, well, that's not what you want to have happen. As the Tauntauns lose a player out yeah. in the middle. And he was the key guy. So the Tauntauns now are, if they're smart, they'll get that tower to look this way. If he gets in that Dorito, he can look this way. But still, two on four against Tampa Bay damage, not in a position you want to be in. No. <laughs> it's like the worst thing in paintball right there. Two on four against Tampa Bay damage, especially when you got... Guys like Smith and, and, J Jacob, yeah. and Jacob and Jason yeah. Edwards still left on the field. Oh, oh damage Rumsey guy. catch a ball. Yeah, so Rumsey El Yusuf catches one. And the two, two on three. three. And that was kind of an aggressive move across to the uh, 50 snake. If he had gotten caught there, they'd have put him, in, that'd have put him on a two on two, and that would have been tough. You see Jason Edwards and the uh, 50 snake now. Yeah. Trying to stay alive, battle a little bit to control the wire. Well, and the, the ball's not his, it's not his move now. No, no, he's got all the guns yeah, on Yeah, whoever's in that temple over there needs to make, start making some move for Tampa Bay damage. And that's his brother, Jacob Edwards. Oh, is that Jacob? Yeah. 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 yeah he, that he kid, now, is that kid 17? Uh, I think he's up to like maybe 15 now. Okay, 15. I can't wait till he gets to be 18. <laughs> no, I think he might be 17. He's been around for a long time. Oh, he we went hunting, he we went hunting. So Tampa Bay damage, kind of like we thought, has come back. So now it's up to Tauntaun to figure out, hey, what did we do that first point that worked so well? Obviously, we shot three guys in the break, and you're not going to be able to emulate that every point. Yeah, so now with the score 2-1, two, two, it's been two unanswered by Tampa Bay after the destruction that Tampa, or the Tauntauns put on them the first point. But we keep seeing this, though. I think that, you know, like you said, I mean, how the field plays is 
is a kind of a factor of mentality because you know I mean you're saying it's playing a little slow I, I didn't see you guys playing it slow you know and so it's like once you master those shots a little bit and it but it but you can lock it down especially if you want to I mean yeah. if you want to get into snake one and lock it and, go, and look cross field and if you get five bodies out alive it's totally possible yeah is that the best way to play this field? I don't think so. You know, it's the it's the least uh, riskiest way right. to play the field, and that's what it's coming down to. It's coming down to not guys making big moves, but guys not making mistakes. Exactly. Like in that and, game. And the longer and longer this tournament goes, that's how it's going to be. And, and the longer and longer the matches go, the more often you make right. those small mistakes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Can you imagine a, a team like Strange or uh, who were the Squirrel Brothers back in the old days? Lockout. 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 Can you if they can get five guys out here alive? Yeah. You could have twenty guys down Lock there. You're not up. going anywhere. One zero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, right now, Tampa Bay definitely in the driver's seat, but with yeah. still 14, 34 well, left on the clock. And it's only one point. You know, obviously, they've looked much, much, much stronger these last two points, but if Tauntauns can come back and put another point on the board, then it's a game again. Well, I kind of, let's go back to the layout real quick, because it's like, you know, let's take CP, for instance. Oswaldo, every single point that he played was essentially in Snake 2. Yeah. Nothing stopped him from Nothing, getting to yeah. Snake too. You should be able to take it. Yeah, day. and then when you guys played, same thing, Tim. You know, you guys. The, I think the slower side is obviously the Dorito side. Well, see, sure. I, I guess what I'm saying is that I think it's easy. Like, that's a gimme spot. You yeah. can go right to the Snake too. You can you even go get right to Snake 50, three. Yeah, but, yeah. but but then you have nothing else. But when you have the yeah, but when you have the other team looking the same way, because I've saw this a lot of points so far, especially in games like you guys played, where you have a guy in the fifty in the fifty Snake, and then you have another guy because there's nothing really stopping you from getting to Snake two. Right. You know, so now they're right next to each other, and then just based on the fact they're right next to each other, somebody dies and things start going faster, you know? Right. Tauntauns lose two on the break, shoot one of damage, leaves it, leaving him in a three on four. Center two guy gets four. shot out, now it's a two on four. Tampa Bay Damage is, has definitely figured out whatever it was that um, the French were able to do that first point, and this you know, match is going to get away from it if they don't figure something really out. really like that back center spot, and they yeah. put two guys back there, which <laughs> I don't even like having one. <laughs> when, when we practiced against Dynasty a couple points, they did that two back center, and yeah. I was like, you know what? Eventually, you guys are going to pay for that. Yeah, Tampa Bay Damage is, uh, they're definitely turning this around. They didn't lose anybody on the break, and they shot two guys either on the break or super, super early, which is one of the things that they're the best at. So uh, if if the Tauntauns can't figure that out, this 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 lead, this two-point lead might go up higher. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll see, though. Three on answer by Tampa Bay Damage. We're going to be right back here. Tauntauns taking on Tampa Bay. See you in a second. I first picked up a paintball gun when I was nine. I used to stand around at the field and stare at the Ironman players, hoping for a shot. I earned my way onto the team when I was 15. We won two world titles. When I blew my knee out for the second time, the doctor told me I'd never play again. But I refused to let go of my dream. I'm an Ironman, and paintball is my life. flag the center point of any game yeah so looks like the tauntauns calling a timeout here good tall good well, call yeah well okay we're rich you're in the pits for tauntauns what would you say to them uh, first of all i would ask the guys who in the last two points who got shot out early like hey was it a fluke yeah or do we need to change the game plan because if it's a fluke it's a fluke you know that's going to happen but if if it's not if like hey dude they got two guns on me i can't make that spot then I would make those adjustments. I would suggest maybe going up the gut, kind of like Damian Ryan was doing, because that'll bring the guns in a little bit and help you kind of get outside. Um, other than that, I don't. It doesn't seem like they're playing. The guys that are getting to their bunkers alive seem like they're playing good paintball. Right. Yeah. Obviously, the guys that are losing, they're losing early, are hurting them. You know, and they're I, also not shooting anybody. So I, I, no, it's no problem. I, I, interjecting. So <laughs> I, I would simply just say survive the breakout, right? Get to yeah. your spots, whether it's down the middle or whether it's out wide. Get to your spots. Don't battle so much, right? kind of stay on your guns and kind of let the game flow a little bit. The game's right now, they're losing a lot of guys really, really fast, and that's how the game gets out of control really fast. Mm -hmm. And you hit the nail on the head. They're losing the breakout. Right. Yeah. So, you know, when you're anytime a good team is playing against another good team, but one of those teams only has three guys, the other has five, you're probably going right. to lose that game. I, so with, uh, survive the breakout, like you said, yeah. and then that's a starting point. Exactly. Absolutely. Well, but, you know, easy said, harder to do, especially when you got Tampa Bay throwing paint right back yeah. in your face. And, and they're honestly... In my mind, one of, if not the best laners on the break in the in 
in paintball today. Mm -hmm. So that's a that might be a tough nail to crack, you know? Yeah. <laughs> tough, tough nut to crack. If if you can't get outside, I guess go up the gut, but they've got to win the breakouts. Right. They need five up. And, and the last two points, they haven't had any penetration on that drill side. And the first two points, they had great penetration exactly. on that drill side. So I think it, they can do that as well if they survive the breakout. Yeah, you know, I mean, they're, they're, they are getting production. You know, Axel's got two confirmed kills. Uh, Carl Samuelson, number two player after Dallas, he's got two confirmed kills. Um, but, you know, they've been playing Colombo a lot. And he's got a fat goose egg as far as confirmed kills is concerned. Goose so, egg. You know, I mean, at, at, and also at what point do you start going deeper into your roster too? Mm, you know, I, that's kind of an issue they struggle with over here is they don't have a super deep roster, yeah. which I haven't seen Heyman or Slasher yet. No, yeah. neither one of them. And honestly, they don't have the stats we have, <laughs> you know, because they probably got four guys over there saying they shoot four guys a game. <laughs> so <laughs> if they had those stats, it'd be much easier for them to just like he was going yeah. out there, right? How many guys you shoot? Oh, I had eight kills that game alone. So. How many people do we play against? Yeah, because yeah. I shot all of them. Yeah. So here we go on the breakout. Tonton gets out with five. Yeah, and Tampa Bay damage also looking like they have five alive as well, able to get into Snake One. Referee checking wow. out. They bounced, yeah, they two bounced guys. two guys. The Tontons bounced home and bounced the uh, the God Tower. That's not what you want to have happen when you shoot negative. When you play damage. Negative Ghost Rider. Now, now this is a good test though. This is gonna tell who, who's playing better at this time because they have similar positions. They have five alive on both teams. So let's see who, you know, compl oh, damage drops to the first guy. Advantage, Tonton fling out. Yeah. yeah, this is a good breakout for the Tontons. Five up, they got yep. control of the field, they got all the spots, they got the Drudo one, the snake. Yep. They got all everybody trapped on the Drudo side. Yep. That's a good little fill back there. We've he, seen Rumsey walk off early a couple oh. times over here on the snake side. But Tontons drop a guy filling back. He, he copied the exact same move, he just got caught. Yeah, just like you were saying, Manny, I'm surprised that they have Rumsey in so much as the number one, especially as well as Brian Smith played Yeah, last exactly. Time. And and maybe they just felt through practice that it was better to have you know Smith play a little off him or what. But I mean, you know, Brian Smith was the number one guy coming out of Dallas. Right. He came back into the league phenomenal. And, uh, and I talked to him, he seemed super hungry. We were down there for the college championships. Talked to Brian Smith, you know, such a nice guy. And he was talking about how hungry he was and how stoked he was to play again. And, you know, now here come. Yeah, that was a little too aggressive, Jason, a little yeah. too early from, from Tampa Bay. Yeah, that was uh, the Jacob, or Edwards, the younger Jacob. Yeah. Well, that might have been the older. Was Three? that the older? Yeah, that was, was the, the older. The younger yeah. moves out, dies yeah. out of the snake. So wow. it's a two on two now. Damage is, Tauntauns are pulling this back. That was a four on two going back to a two on two. Yeah, and Jacob's the uh, Jacob the elder. Or Jacob walks the off. Senior, yeah, the senior. Yeah, the senior. No, the senior walked off early. Now the younger comes off. <laughs> the junior. It's just Jacob keeps getting thicker. So you know, yeah. it's tougher to tell which well, one's which. It's good. He needs to. He needs to thicken up some. <laughs> he looks this like he could be broken easily. Well, yeah. Jacob Edwards, I think, is only what, 18 years old yeah, now. I was he's like totally right? 17. I mean, he, uh, he's he's uh, that's a talent. Man. Yeah, he's not a big supporter of our team. He likes to uh, that, no, tell no, everybody. He does not like it. Yeah, much. and I was talking to Joey about. Well, it's because like, you guys beat him at World yeah, Cup. He's like, but he's only 17, Rich. And I was like, okay, well, uh, I can wait. <laughs> One more year, huh? One more year. <laughs> See if his his muscles are as big as his mouth is. <laughs> and the Tauntaun player dies out of the snake, though. Yeah. That's, uh, that's not what you're gonna happen. Here but again, you know. It, it, they pulled off a two. They pulled back a two on four to a two on two, but then they just couldn't right. finish it off. Yeah, they, I mean, yeah. they got a couple good kills, yeah. but it's just not enough. So frustrating that, turn of yeah. events for the Tauntauns as they went up one early, but then it's just been all Tampa Bay damage, and looking like the team that they normally are yeah. after that first point that they lost. So 11 minutes and 29 seconds remain here in this matchup, and we're going to be right back.
And we are back here, 2013 Mid-Atlantic Open, PSP. Second event of the year. Next one's going to be in Chicago at CPX. Great field there, too, man. Going to a lot of awesome paintball fields this year. And we're watching the Tampa Bay Damage take on Tonton Flangers. And I'll tell you what, man, it, Tampa Bay proving again why they're one of the top teams. You know, they refused after they lost that first one, that first point looked terrible. And then just stomping back into it and uh, getting a lot of guys to contribute here. Jacob Edwards, he's got four confirmed. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they look good. Timothy, it looks like Rainy Stanzik's going to get a spin out here for Tampa Bay. Yeah, the top going to try to put Heyman in Slasher. I'm surprised they don't play yeah, well Rainy more. Uh, do, do you think it's because they normally don't practice with the team? Yeah, I mean, you, 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 played, you played yes. with them. Yes, that has a lot to do it. When I played at the Tatans, I'd fly in a couple days early and practice with them. But it still wasn't enough, I felt. And here, I mean, they don't go to France at all and practice with them. So they come over, they get maybe one or two days practice where yeah. the Tatans are playing for two, three weeks. Plus, they don't play with them in Europe either. Right. So, who's the coach of the Tauntauns? Uh, Pascal. He used to play on the team for uh, yeah. a couple years. I mean, I played with him. We won the title in Europe in 06, and he played. Then uh, he quit playing about three years ago and started running the team, and they've had a great year since he got a coach. Yeah. It's weird how that works. You know, it's yeah. really tough it, to it find a coach, help. but Very hey, hard. It's weird. It's a sport, and you need a coach for that? <laughs> Strange. Rich knows how hard it is. It is oh, really, man. really hard to find a coach. Unless you got a fat pocketbook, or you just fall into the right situation, you know? Well, like, I've tried all the all the best guys in our like Shane Pastana, Dale. I mean, please, what do I got to do? I'll mow your lawns. Yeah. You're like, ah, you know, it's too much time. You know, it away takes, from the family. It takes a skill set of, of being organized, yeah. as well as knowing the game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, for for me, I am not organized. I'm pretty good at knowing the game. But I'm, I assume that I take care of my stuff. I get me there. So I assume everyone else is gonna do the same thing, and they don't. Yeah. And that you hit 100. percent You need both. You need the the paintball brains, and you need a. Uh, and the type A personality is going to get stuff done. Yeah, and so now the Tauntauns just kind of getting beat up right yeah. now by Tampa Bay. Five to one. That's five unanswered by Tampa Bay. And now every everyone's starting to contribute. Keith Brown's got four kills. Jacob and Jason Edwards, they have four kills. Uh, Brian Smith, not really getting the production we saw out of him. And Dallas got one. And Rainey, he's got one too. They both got shot and, that and last maybe point. Maybe that's why Brian's not in the snake. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know, it's, it's just strange. It's like you said in practice, you know, people are on and off, you know? Yeah, exactly. All right, well, we're going to be right back after this. Ever wonder how your order gets from ansgear.com to you? Using our fast and efficient processing method, your purchase is pulled, verified, and shipped to your door quickly and accurately. Every order is checked for accuracy three times before it leaves the warehouse. With your choice of free shipping on orders over $100 to next day, Saturday, or international shipping options, you get the products you need sooner and at an affordable price to get you back in the game. Shop now at ansgear.com. Well, can the Tauntauns step it up here and try to fight fire with fire? Tampa Bay damage has just been dominating them since the first point that they scored. And after that, really haven't had an answer for them. 10 minutes and 19 seconds remain here in this match. I don't know, boys. Do you think they can come back? There's still a lot of time. Negative. No. Absolutely not. Uh, you know, against another team, uh, you know, Maybe. Uh, like, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Tampa Bay damage off the field, but on the field, super technical. They make very few mistakes. They're very seasoned. They know what they're doing, and when the team doesn't make mistakes, what do you do? You know, there's nothing to capitalize on. You know, and I, I'm not a big fan of Tampa Bay damage either. And with no disrespect to Paul Richards, I think having SK though has really helped the team. A lot. Yeah, yeah. He's a well, very SK is a coach. super smart guy, yeah. and he, he he obviously just getting a different look. You know, helps. Like I'm sure Paul did a great job too, but SK is going to do something different. You know, and that's right. going to help the team even that much. They they probably got everything they could from Paul, right. and now they can get a whole new wealth from SK. Yeah, that was kind of the vibe, too, is that it had just run its course. Yeah. You know, it's not like they were doing terrible, but they weren't getting the results they wanted, which are wins. You know, I mean, Tampa yeah. Bay damage is not formed to take second. It's not right. formed to take a fifth. Nope. Uh, no, that this hey, team... Hey, when you're spending that much money, yeah. you better not be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's true. I love the fact that that, 
that, that kid in the Dorito pushed forward into four guns. I like that, too. And he made it all the way, and they had to go behind him to shoot him you in the back. You know what's crazy about damage, though? I mean, yeah, they're a highly funded team, but think about who's on the squad. I mean, they don't have a lot of imports anymore. You know, I mean, uh, it's... Rainy just and Rainy. Yeah, it's Rainy. Just rainy. You know, I mean, they got Rainy, and essentially it's a bunch of dudes that have been playing together for yeah. about, you know, 10 years now. Yeah. You know, all the way yeah. back to Strange back in the day. A lot of yeah. people don't know uh, that are, you know, originally, you know, and then also some Jacksonville guys too. But yeah. still, you know, I mean, it's just been this core group. But, you know, a lot of teams are like that. It's a bunch of talented guys yeah. that just happen to coalesce together in a certain place at a certain time. And they, you know, really enjoy it. And then there's somebody else that's willing to fund their, their yep. dream. Yep. And they're successful enough for that to keep per perpetuating itself. Yep. And that's Tampa Bay Damage. It is. Houston Heat, Tampa Bay Damage, very similar. Well, Houston Heat's got a bunch of imports, well, but same. Well, no, because Houston Heat, I think, would be the exact opposite. Because now, see, I'm about to get one up on you right now. Right? Well, you said fund their, fund their dream. So I think in, the, in that sense, they're funding their dream. Okay, Houston you're dream. right, funding the team, but or funding the dream. But at the same time, it's like that was a straight, complete team assembled last year by like, all right, who can we get? All right, let's pay some guys. Let's put, let's put a yeah. superstar team together. And we did it. Whereas, like, Tampa Bay Damage really emerged organically. Yeah, they, they came up. You know, now they're both highly funded teams. One of the biggest budgets in the league or in the world as far as teams are concerned. Universe. Yeah, you could say that. You know, I mean, I'm not sure if they're playing paintball and, Mars, you know, maybe. Uh, Mars. Oh, you guys didn't hear about the new Mars League? No way. The Venetian League is off the hook. Maybe. Oh, Tight. Off they're the building hook. those colonies that people can go up there and maybe... <laughs> it's all in the ground. I heard they have really good indoor fields I'm on Mars. I'm hearing that. Yeah. 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 It's a little hot there. The right? outdoor ones are sketch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the paint just melts. <laughs> so we got uh, about nine minutes and 18 seconds yeah. to go here, and timeout is called by Tampa Bay Damage, so... Uh, oh, that's just salt on the wounds. That's just salt on the wounds. Yeah, really? Come on, Come on, man. Tampa. You're one point away Cut from taking slack. the victory. <laughs> but it uh, looks like SK wants to get a little quick look here on the lineup that he's got the play he's going to run. And while SK talks to his boys, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Looking at Tampa Bay Damage, getting ready to play this next point. There are the Edwards brothers, Jacob and Jason. And what a, you know, really, I mean, I don't know what their parents did as far as getting some good gunfighters in the family. Maybe in past lives. Well, their, their dad's an ex-professional baseball player. They used to own a paintball field. Yeah, I mean, he's, yeah. he, so it's, at, you know, so there's some athleticism in the family. Like, uh, I don't know, six, seven years ago when Jason first got on Philly, he goes, Watch my brother in five years. He's yeah. going to be pretty good. Yeah. And he was little. He was like Understatement 12. of the year. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, you know, they're playing on one of the best teams out there and looking just dominant. What I, I love about Jason, too, sorry, is that he's so he's, he's a bigger kid, yeah. but he's so versatile. He's all over the field. So so many lateral movements. Well, he's and he's another one of those guys that, you know, there's certain guys in the league that are just real role models to the bigger guys yep. out there that want to play the game. Yep. And, you know, I mean, his, his nickname was Fat Kid, you yeah. know? He, and he was fat at the he time. He was fat at the time. <laughs> he's definitely shaped up, 
But, yeah, uh, but that's what's possible. Yeah. You know, strength of yeah. will and yeah. and focus, it, you know, really can get you really far in this yeah. life. And guys like Jason Edwards are just living testament to that. Yeah. Well, and, and paintball is one of the few sports where, you know, being a little bit smarter than the other guy can make up for being a little bit slower than the other guy. Yeah, absolutely. Or a little bit bigger, you know? Yeah. If I could be smart, I well, would. Well, no, but I mean, Rich, it was like you know, you had a you had a good day today, at least in the games that I, the game that I watched, and I was you know we're saying I was like, man, if Rich is the guy that has to be running people down on excessive and you know putting dudes in and making moves up the field past the fifty, then, then they're in trouble. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I said. But no, I but felt I mean, the same way. You no, know, but I was like, you know, Rich Telford, six two, yeah. you know, two hundred something pounds, yeah. and he's up there making these quick moves. You know, that's not Rich's job. You know, no, but it's a lot funner. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot funner than my job. I wish I could do that. <laughs> All right, so let's see if Tampa Bay can close this game out here. Seven minutes and 37 seconds to go. Looks like the new pickup, uh, a veteran actually from the squad, Slasher. Paul Everett. Well, uh, for Tampa Paul Bay, for Tampa. you know, LP's back. You know, Paul Everett was picked yeah. up by them. And, uh, you know, a guy that's played, played for them for years, finally getting back in the game and now getting some playing time here. Try to get some... You know, get the firing back again. Is damage down to three players? Yeah, I think it's a three on three. Three on three, three, on three or four. four. It's a three on four. Yeah. So Tauntauns need to put a little pressure because there's only a little bit of time left in this match. Yeah, and they if need they, this point. If they win this, they can start helping themselves on the margin, kind of like Infamous did, you know? Exactly. They don't have a chance of going back and winning this match, but at least they can tighten that margin up significantly. And that's what they need to do. Yeah, so, you know, Steven Lasher getting a spin for the Tauntauns, and he's in the 50-yard line snake. Right now you're looking at... The Tauntauns back line right now on the Dorito side. Yeah, so you can see a little weak in that temple there for low, just holding down the snake side, but they're not going to go anywhere, right? Tampa, yeah. Ban Tampa Bay damage isn't going to come at you when you're up 6 2. That, that's, and that's the problem with him. He's playing defense. Yeah, it's not, they're not coming. You yeah, have no one to defend against. Oh, he just, and he gets shot out of there. Wow. That was a great snapshot. Wow, now it's a two on three with Tampa Bay having the advantage. Well, you know, there's still time, but not enough time for the Tauntauns to come back. I mean, Negative. they've only scored one yeah. in 14 minutes. So, you know, for them to put another five on the board to tie it up is a bit much. Let's see. But, but again, Tim, like you were saying, it's about point margin right exactly. now. Exactly. Point margin is huge. I mean, and you can see damage. I mean, they're going to try to stay alive, zone up. They're going to get this point. Yeah. They're going to kill one more of these yeah. guys, and then all three of them are going to go down a bunker to the last guy. Right, LP or Everett, Paul Everett sitting in the snake, just kind of waiting. They're up three on two. They're not in a hurry. Nope. Again, a team that doesn't make mistakes. You know, right here, it's six on one. A, a, an egotistical team would be trying to make big moves and look like a superstar on the webcast, but they're not into that. They're like, hey, it's six to one. Let's Grind shoot one guy yeah, out, we got and him. then we'll look like a superstar hey, bunker in the last guy. We got a big lead. Yep. Ooh, looks like Jason Edwards coming off. Yeah, For so Greece Jason Columbo. Edwards. Making a big move on the Dudo side for the Tauntauns. Yeah, yeah. He, he's the one that shot Jason out of that stand-up yeah. on the snake side. As soon as he shot him, he went. Now he's going to fight down the line over there. But the, the damage is doing exactly what they need to do. Take as much time off the board. Yeah. Hey, let it, you want to let him spot him a point? No big deal. Look at oh, this. Wow. LP. A, that should be a penalty there. I think we got him. Oh, we didn't even shoot him. Wow, so wow. Everett wow. looking solid over here. But he might have caught one there in the last second. But still looking real good. As he runs down Steven Lasher for the Tauntauns and Paul Everett, you know, again, taking some years off, off the game, but has a, he is a veteran and has played with this squad for a long time. I believe it's pronounced veteran, but I'll look it up. V veteran? Veteran. Veteran. Yeah, well, now we got ourselves a one on one here. Paul See, Everett against Fab Fabrice Colombo. This is where I kind of like the Millennium format where they have the bell at the end. So if you get that penetration, you're just like, ah, I'm just going to go ring the bell. <laughs> Well, Which and, happens a lot, and all Paul needs to do is, again, just take time off. Oh, yeah. Make sure that the Fabrice doesn't grab the flag. Yep. Just try not to die. Just sit there, make Fabrice make yeah, a I mistake. Yeah, I mean, he's posted right yep. up by the yep. flag. Just, yep. And Fabrice has to kill him and get that flag. So, yeah, all, it's pretty easy. Yeah, one all LP has to do is just sit there and yeah, it's, wait, it's, wait to see if he makes a mistake. There's no pressure on him whatsoever. No. Nope. Because even if he dies, no, who cares? You know, yeah. it's not a big deal. As long as you take a minute yeah. or two off, off the clock, yeah. you're hey. good. That's a win. Yeah. If, if I was a coach, I'd be like, hey, awesome job, buddy. You took two minutes off the clock. Not that, that much closer to a victory. Yeah, all his buddies right now are in the pit. Just re Oh, oh nice move. and Everett owns him see, in that one. Did you see how he went up there, like, nonchalantly to the can and yeah. switched hands? That was ridiculous. Yeah. I think Fabrice was out of paint too, though. Yeah, he was out of paint. So, you know, we'll Fabrice, Fabrice had completely run out of uh, ammunition over there oh. and never made a pay. 
Almost hung it on the wrong side. Oh. <laughs> it's so confusing. Hey, he just got back in the game. You know, give him a little bit of credit. But yeah, so Everett doing a good job, man. That Hey, make the most of your opportunities. If you're playing on a team like Tampa Bay Damage, regardless of the fact if you played with the team before or not, you know, they don't suffer any fools. Yeah. They Like you said, that's a team that doesn't make a lot of mistakes. So yep. when you get a chance to get out there and get reps, you need to contribute. And yep. now Everett is, you know, he can go back and... Yeah, so, you know, Everett... Yeah, that's a big point for, for, for Paul Everett, though, because when you have those teams, those big budget teams and all those superstar players, yeah. those one or two spins that you get during the <laughs> game yeah, are yeah. super, so super important. important. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so if it's, again, hey, you get a chance to get out there, yeah. regardless if you spent five years with the team four years ago. Don't make know, a mistake. Don't make a mistake. And Everett played great. Yeah. So, obviously, he's jumping right back in it. But, again, that's kind of scary for everybody else. If you guys got, got guys like Brian Smith, who came in, at the first event and played great. Haven't seen a lot out of Smith so far this game, but you know, and then ever for the finals. Say, hey, <laughs> save it for the better, finals. Better late than never. But still, you know, it, it, when you get guys like that that have spent a lot of time in the game and now coming back and wanting to, you know, reinvigorate their own paintball career, get back yeah. into have it. Have some fun. Yeah, have some fun. Ultimately, that's what it's all about. It's about having fun. And it looks like we have Lauren Kelly with Jason Edwards from Tampa Bay Damage. Lauren, what do you got for us? Hey guys, down here with Jason Edwards from Damage. Congratulations, Thank you, you just much. won. That was kind of a blowout for you there. But what do you think on this field is the most important like strategies to play to win those big points? On this field, you're, it's, it's all about teamwork. Uh, with the snake almost going from corner to corner, anybody can run around and hide on the entire field. So getting the communication across, looking at your players and playing off of them, that's the strong points. I don't think the most aggressive team is going to win, but also probably the, uh, the most defensive team is not going to win. It's going to be the team that plays like a team. Awesome. You guys are up against Iron Man next, Iron Men, and they are playing now, so you get to s scout them out. But what do you think you guys are going to have to focus on against them? Uh, Ironmen's, uh, they're, they're aggressive. You know, we thought the Tauntauns were going to come out a little bit more aggressive than they did. Uh, we, we get to watch them. They just watched us, so hopefully they didn't pick up too many of our tactics. And hopefully we watch them and pick up enough of theirs to beat them. Awesome. All right. Well, up next is Ironman and X Factor. The CXBL 2013 season is just around the corner. Catch all the action this summer on paintballaccess.com. June 29th and 30th, the games begin. Buy PBL's cameras are there to catch all the action. Check out game-changing moves, straight from the source interviews, and the best pro talent in North America. So stay clicked to paintballaccess.com and get your front row seats to Canada's largest tournament series. The Canadian X-Ball League, making good players great. Massive opportunities, both for the sport of paintball and for your business. If we are successful in taking our sport to another level, unite with Paintball Access in our quest to elevate paintball and broadcast it to the world. There are advertising packages available for any size business. Join us. Advertise with PBA and help us change the sport for the better forever. Rebuilt and rebooted for 2013, the LA Ironman has